Lockheed Martin have released a design idea which revolutionizes how things fly. Hey everybody and welcome back. And sadly it's not a flying saucer, it's an aeroplane. About 20 years ago, when I was learning to fly, I had an unfortunate incident that completely changed my outlook on how and why aeroplanes fly. I was learning to fly on a Cessna 150 series, a two-seat trainer. They had one at the airport, but I found one on eBay, a very, very nice low-time Cessna 152, and brought it back to my base in Wisconsin only to discover that there wasn't any hangar space. The T hangers and the main corporate hangar were full. And the airport manager said, join the waiting list, Simon. What you can do is tie the airplane down on ropes on these three points on the apron, two under the wing and one on the tail. Good luck. <laughs> so my pride and joy, my beautiful Cessna was tied down using ropes outside the terminal building. All went well until one night I got a phone call from the airport manager saying, get down here, your airplane's doing something very dangerous. Driving at back to the future speed to the airport, I observed that my Cessna was flying. All three wheels were off the ground due to the ropes either being stretched or not being tied down tight enough by idiot pilot me. The very kind but rather elderly airport manager couldn't get it down on the ground. So between us, we grabbed it and tightened up all three tie downs until the airplane sat on the ground, vibrating, wanting to fly. As a student pilot, I didn't really understand what I'd just witnessed. But the airport manager explained it to me. He said, airplanes don't fly, Simon, by going down the runway fast. They fly because air is going over their wing. If you blow air fast enough over any airplane wing, it will lift off. I went, oh, I thought you had to go fast down the runway. That brilliant but could have been an expensive incident made me think about how airplanes fly. So you're going on holiday. Lucky you, you're obviously not a farmer. <laughs> and you're sitting in your 737 and you're going hooling down the runway and about 100 knots you're going to take off, Oof, you hope. In fact, takeoff is the most dangerous part of flight. Most passengers think landing is the dangerous part. No, it's not. In landing, you can lose all your engines. You've got the energy of the altitude and lift. And the only reason people have incidents on landing is idiot pilots. During takeoff, everything has to work. Full power. Pilots sit back. They just put the plane into a flying attitude and they need lift and altitude before they can do anything. And the basic principle of all fixed wing airplanes for takeoff is stupid. It's all about pushing the airplane down the runway until the wind flows over the wing and then at that speed, the airplane will just take off. That power is all wasted. What crossed my woolly brain when I saw my Cessna levitating while stationary was, why don't you just blow air over the wing? You don't need to move on takeoff. You just need air passing over a wing and the airplane will take off in vertical flight. Yeah, well, I think people have worked on it. But today, Sikorsky, now a member of Lockheed Martin, have made it work by blowing air over the wing by large fans, propellers, you can take off nearly vertically, whoa, and then transition into a cruise by putting the nose down, increasing the angle of attack, getting airflow over the wing normally, and then just flying away with lift under low power. Thank you, Lockheed Martin. I expect the checks in the p post. No, probably not. And I'm sure they weren't the first people to think about fan ducted lift wings. It's a brilliant idea. Here's Sikorsky's and Lockheed Martin's prototype 
so you can see that my crazy idea with my Cessna is coming to an airport near you.